This is Tara from Simple Day, and I am on a mission to make productivity simple using Monday.com. If you're using Monday.com as a CRM, usually you have a leads board, a contacts board, and an accounts board where you would obviously enter in the relevant information, leads, contacts, and accounts. Now, what happens often is, let's say you run into some a new person that's working at a company, and you've already been in touch with this company. So when you go to enter this information into your CRM, you don't want to enter the new company because the company because it's already in your CRM. Sometimes you know that it's there, and sometimes you don't. So I want to show you a way that you can enter information in your CRM, and it will show you if the account is already existing or if it's new. Obviously, please remember that if you spell something wrong or you leave out a part of the company name, this workaround will not work. But for the most part, this will save you a lot of time because it will pull in existing companies already. Additionally, there are apps that you can use, one called Data Clean, one called Duplicates and Uniques, but that usually requires you to, to have a task to remember to look at the duplicates. This does it while you're entering the lead. So let's start on my leads board and I'm gonna create an example. I'm going to come in as a new lead. And as you see, there's already an account called Simple Day on the accounts board. So I'm going to use this again. And what happened on this board is that when, when I entered a new item, it automatically assigns it as an ex a new account. And you saw when I added Simple Day, it created it as it changed the status to an existing account. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this lead as qualified. And I am going to go to my contacts board. And you'll see that my name is going to show up here and the account's name is gonna show up and it linked it to the accounts on my accounts board and it's still an existing account. So I just wanna show you that it did not create an existing account, but you can see that I am connected here. Um, you can see that Tara Horn is connected here and it's an existing account. So this is great if you have existing accounts and you don't want to create a new account on your account board. So now let's do another example with a new account. I'm going to be Tara Horn 2 for this example. And my company name is going to be Simple Day 2, just so we're very clear. Now you'll see this was automatically set as a new account. Now when I mark this as qualified, so we're going to go to the contacts board and we're going to see that I can't come in as Tara Horn 2 in a minute when it loads. Obviously, just to tell you that these all these columns need to be mapped to each other. And I didn't fill out the email on the phone. That's why nothing's showing up. So simple day two came in as a new um, account. And you'll see that here it says new. And so far, nothing has popped up. We're just going to wait for this automation. We can actually go check the accounts board and see here. Simple, here is simple day two and it's connected to Tara Horn. If we go back to the contacts board, we'll see that it shows up here. I did write all of this out very clearly in a blog post, which I will share the link in the comments because I think to follow all of these steps on the video of exactly which columns and which automations is a little bit hard. So therefore I wrote it out a step-by-step -step process of exactly which columns you need on which boards and which automations you need. So again, I will link to that in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, give me a like below. And if you have not subscribed and you're interested in getting more updates and tips on how to use monday.com, please subscribe below.